Hi, my name is Ton. I'm 2021 pharmacist candidate. My presentation today is about drug named Glimepiride. Glimepiride brand name is Amaryl. It's used to treat type 2 diabetes in adults. It belongs to an anti-diabetic drug class called sulfonylurea that stimulates the secretion of insulin from the beta cell to control the blood glucose. Glimepiride has been widely used because it's low cost but effective and also have a rapid onset with longer duration and safe in renal failure. However, the long-term use of lamiparide can cause the beta cell to burn out and eventually its effect may wear up with time. The major side effects of lamiparide are hypoglycemia and weight gain. Therefore, patients should watch out for hypoglycemia symptoms and adjust their diet as well as trying to exercise at least 30 minutes every day to maintain unhealthy weight. Lastly, glimepiride should be avoided in patients over 65 years old due to hypoglycemia side effect. The reason glimepiride is effective because it can reduce the A1C by 1-2%. to However, it's rarely used at first-line therapy or monotherapy. Instead, Lamiparide is used as an add-on therapy with metformin in addition to diet or exercise to control the blood glucose in patients with type 2 diabetes. For the absorption after oral administration, Lamiparide is completely absorbed from the GI tract and it takes 2 to 3 hours for the drug to reach its peak plasma concentration. Its volume of distribution is 8.8 .8 liter, with the protein binding is more than 99.5%. Glimepiride is completely metabolized by CYP2C9 via oxidative biotransformation. The major metabolites are the cyclohexyl hydroxyl methyl derivative OM1 and the carboxyl derivative M2. 60% of glimepiride is excreted in the urine and 40% is excreted in the feces. And lastly, its half-life uh, elimination is 5 to 9 hours. The initial dose is 1 to 2 mg one daily week breakfast or the first main meal. Based on the response, we may increase the dose by 1 to 2 mg every 1 to 2 weeks up to maximum of 8 mg one daily. Glimepiride is safe in renal failure, but dose must be reduced in patients with low EGFR, and the initial dose is 1 mg every day. If the EGFR is less than 15, we should consider alternative therapy for the patient. While taking a lamiparide, patients should monitor their blood glucose regularly and have A1C measured every 3 to 6 months. Patients also should be educated to recognize hypoglycemia symptoms such as shaking, sweating, confusion, dizzy, being nervous and anxious. Patients must be aware of the situation that can cause hypoglycemia such as after exercise, missed dose, or the use of high dose. And this concludes my presentation today. Thank you for listening.